Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we will be going over the Daedric War celebration event for the Elder Scrolls Online. This event will be going live this coming Thursday and will run all the way till February 1st. Now, if you would like to participate in this event, you will need to have the access to the Morrowind chapter, Clockwork City, or Somerset chapter as well. It is available currently for those who have ESO Plus membership, or if you do not have ESO membership, you can purchase it from the in-game crown store. Now, during this event, as we explore the lands of Vardenfeld, Clockwork City, and Somerset by completing quests or venturing around the landscape, we do have a chance to receive a reward box for the Daedric Rewards spoils. After completing some of these following activities such as slaying monsters and delves, killing world bosses, opening up treasure chests, safe box, lootable objects in the world like psychic portals, thief trolls, and harvest nodes or harvesting crafting material, closing geysers from Somerset, playing bosses within the Falls of Fabrication, an Asylum Factorium, and the Cloud Rest Trial. Now, if you would like to know what you can receive in your reward boxes for the Daedric War spoils, they are listed here as follow. If you would actually like to look at the site for yourself, you can go look at that at elderscrollsonline.com. I will be leaving a link in the description down below so you guys can look at that for yourself. Since this is an event, you are able to earn yourself some event tickets. You are able to earn yourself one event ticket from turning in your first Bardenfield or Clockwork City daily quest. You are able to then earn yourself another ticket by turning in your first Somerset daily quest. This means you will be able to earn up to a total of 26 event tickets through the total duration of the Daedric War celebration event. Now looking at the first zone to get our daily broker. We're going to go over to Vardenfeld. First, you want to zoom out of your Tamriel map and go to the upper right hand corner here to Vardenfeld. The daily brokers we're going to look at is in Vivek City. You will want to travel to the Vivek Temple Way Shrine. Once you've arrived, you want to take the stairs to the left, go down the stairs, and take a right into the Hall of Justice. Once you have hit the Halls of Justice, there will be a gateway to your right. Go in the gateway you have a daily broker to your right and you'll have a daily broker to your left the daily broker to the left here will end up giving you a daily job to do typically these daily jobs will have you go fight a world boss within the zone of Ardenfell, which we have a total of six world bosses that need to be fought Now our other daily broker here on the right will end up giving you a task to go typically to the plaza to talk to somebody else about the daily task that needs to be at hand. To get to that plaza, we'll end up going out this door. We will go across the river, typically go up the stairs to the left here, take another left here at the core warrior, and then another left there and follow the bend around to the inside of the plaza once in the plaza speak to Elvis as soon as you talk to Elvis she will end up giving you a daily task of things that you need to collect typically these will be into areas of delves within the zone for delves in the zone, we have a total of six of them as well throughout the map. We also have two other daily brokers within the zone of Vardenfell. In order to unlock these brokers though, you must complete Aldern's Runes quest. The brokers are located by Aldern Runes Way Shrine. Once you get to Aldern Runes Way Shrine, you must go over into the campsite. Our first daily broker located here is the Hunt Master. 
the hunts master will ask you to hunt some very dangerous beasts within the zone and you must go hunt for him he will have six locations on any given day now the other daily broker is over by the master tent by the main area of the campsite Once you talk to Nurama, she will typically end up telling you to go find some relics to find within the zone of Vardenfell as well. There will also be six of these that you must go find and collect. Now, keep in mind that these will only be one area. I'm just telling you that there's six because there's six different options for all these that I've listed. Now, the last part of this zone that I want to talk about is the Halls of Fabrication. The Halls of Fabrication is a trial for a 12-man group, so you will probably need to find 11 other players to help you with this trial. If you don't have this area discovered, you can find it over by the Sidroth Smora Way Shrine, or by this Dwemer named Way Shrine that I will not even try to pronounce. Once inside here, there is a daily or weekly quest that you can do. Since this is a, considered a daily, if you have not completed any of the daily quests in Vardenfeld or Clockwork City, at the end of the trial, by turning in this quest, you will actually get an event ticket along with other rewards. For the next zone that we will be going over is the Clockwork City zone. To find it, we must zoom out of our Tamriel map, go to the Arubis. On the bottom left hand corner here is the Clockwork City zone. For our daily brokers, we will find them in the Brass Fortress. You will find them close by the Brass Fortress Way Shrine. Once you have arrived, our first broker is found here, called the Clockwork Facilitator. The Clockwork Facilitator will end up giving you daily quests to end up fighting world bosses. In the zone of Clockwork City, there are only two world bosses. One world boss is located by the Sanctuary of Verification, by the Sanctuary Way Shrine. The other world boss is over by the Mirror Mechanic Way Shrine, and it's known as the Igress World Boss. Now our next daily broker that is unlocked for everybody is over here. We must talk to Rigzar. Rigzgar will end up asking you to find supplies to resupply things for Slag Town that can be found within the zone. Now, the last two daily brokers we're going to be talking about here are locked behind an, an achievement. You must have the achievement of Birds of a Feather or have completed the quest line of Lost in the Gloom in order to unlock these brokers. This broker here is with the Black Feathered Court. What he will require you to do is gather some gleams or gems or things around in the world of Tamriel. You can get this from any zone, it doesn't matter what it is, you just need to bring him pretty much trash and treasures. Now, the last other daily broker we have is located by the Way Shrine here. Right by the facilitator here, we then look to the east and find the Novus. The Novus here will end up giving us daily delves in Clockwork City. For Clockwork City, there are only two daily delves. You either have the Halls of Regulation or you have the Shadow Cleft. For the last part of this zone, we will be talking about the Asylum Sanctorum Trial. This is a 12-man trial, so you and 11 other players must complete this in order to get the daily in here. Once you have entered the Asylum Sanctorum, you will need to talk to the alienist here. He will have the daily quest for you and the weekly quest for this trial. Once you have completed this quest and turn it in, you have a chance to earn an event ticket if you have not completed any of the Clockwork City dailies for the day or any of the Vardenfeld dailies as well. This will also give you some bonus loot on top of it as well. 
for the last zone that we are going to be traveling to is over into Somerset. To find it, we got to zoom out of our Tamriel map and go down to the bottom left hand corner here to Somerset. We will be looking at the Eleanor area and you must travel to the Eleanor Way Shrine since this will be the closest to the Daily Brokers. Once you arrive there, you will want to go this route. Go down the stairs to the left here. And over here is our first daily broker. Our first daily broker here, just here, will end up giving us daily tasks. These daily tasks will have us jumping into delves within the zone. There are a total of six delves within the zone, with five of them being located within the Somerset itself. The sixth delve that could be found will have to be zoomed all the way out of our map into the Arubis and go all the way to our TAM. In our TAM, this is where our sixth delve will be found. Now our other just here over here, Farwell, will end up giving us daily tasks to go fight world bosses. There are a total of six world bosses in this map and she will have us fight one at a time for each different day. Now our last daily broker that we have can be found over in this direction. You'll be have to be careful because there is a little bit of a river here. Go up the stairs and to talk to Battle Reef Tanrail. Her daily broker quest will have you end up going and destroying abyss and geysers throughout the world map there are a total of six of those geysers located out throughout the map and they will have the dark anchor emblem on them as well the last spot in this zone that i want to talk about is the cloud rest trial this will be a 12-man group with you and 11 other players in order to complete this daily broker as well you can find the cloud rest trial over by the Ebon the Mount Way Shrine. Once inside, you will need to talk to Olarim, as she will be giving you the daily quest or weekly quest to complete this trial. Once you completed the trial, turn in your quest to get some rewards from the event, along with some other stuff as well. And if you have not completed your Somerset daily quest for the zone, by completing this, you will actually get an event ticket. When it comes to the event ticket, you are only allowed to carry a total of 12 of them. So make sure you don't waste your tickets by spending them. Now you're probably wondering, where do I spend them? Well, the answer to that is you must find the Impresario. The Impresario is located in multiple areas in the Tamriel world map. For instance, this Impresario tent that you will need to find in other zones, this one is found in Glenumbra, just outside the Daggerfall wall. Once you find it, during the event, the Impresario will appear and then you can buy things. Certain things that you can end up buying this year is this Illusion Dragon flying right here as so. Which there will be three fragments throughout the event that you can actually buy to get him. On top of it, we will actually get our first fragment piece that we can actually buy for a skin this year. This being the skin of Akatosh, which I gotta say actually looks kinda cool. These are just models sitting around so that way you can actually look at it prior to the event. The Impresario will be selling other things as well, such as Evergloom Champion weapon style pages, even a Gloom Griffin fledging pet. But I can understand if you're not into the cosmetics of the game and more into 12 man trials or 4 man content, what you can get is a group repair kit. What a group repair kit does is Whenever you or an ally has a damaged armor and needs some repairs, whether they're wearing it or it's in their inventory, you can use this group repair kit and you will repair the armor of yourself and your group members as long as they are grouped with you. Instead of everybody spending their own repair kits, this is a quick, easy, clean way to do it. Now, the only question I have for you is, how will you be spending your time in this event? Will you be doing trials? Will you be gathering crafting material since it's double drop for those? Will you be going for style pages throughout the zone? Or will you be trying to fill your sticker book with some cool set? Let me know down in the comment section down below. 
If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. This will help out a lot in the YouTube algorithm for other people to find. If you would want to stay up to date with other ESO related content, click the notification bell so you can be part of the new video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in game or in the next video.